Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1697. Guys, if you're following on YouTube, jump on over to thewilddog.com and check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today, we're doing is talking about the glute bridge. We're going back to a very simple, basic concept of um, using our hip, excuse me, using our hips into extension to drive our pelvis upwards, okay? And we're also going to talk. Uh, well, really, the, the meaning of this video is to talk about the most common fault in a bridge. And I work with this because it's, it's an exercise that I really like to use with my patients and give out um, for rehab. But what we see so often is this lack of core awareness. Not that they cannot hold themselves in a straight position, but that they're not aware that they allow themselves into this hyper arched position that you guys can see with the light that's right there. So what I really try to get people to do is not necessarily tuck the pelvis. That's the second common thing that we see that happens so much is that we just over tuck like where we're like in this huge posterior pelvic tilt and we do this type of thing. What I want you guys to do is just brace in the same position that you would naturally be in. So you guys can see um, if I hold that like that, there's some sort of natural curve that's there. I'm not necessarily looking to flatten everything out of there. I'm just looking to brace my natural position. And once I have collected and braced my natural position by tightening my tummy and my core, then I'm looking to be able to drive off my heels to extend my hips. But what I'm looking at doing here, guys, is stopping with whatever my hip extension is and not continuing with back arch. So if we can do this and we can think about this, a little quick drill to be able to do is to put one hand between your, uh, between your nipple level, right? So even with your chest, the other hand, I want you to place your pinky in your belly button. And now what you're gonna see here, let me actually change this so you see. One hand on, on my chest, pinky on my belly button, and my thumb against my other hand, right? So you can see how that has. Hand on your chest, keep it right where it is, pinky on your belly button, and then your thumb connected to your hand. So what I'm now doing is making a connection of awareness, all right? So wherever I brace, I don't wanna feel my hands separate, okay, or collapse. I just want them to be the same spot. I'm using my hands as an external cue for myself. Hand on the chest between the nipple level, pinky and the belly button, that gives me a reference point that will not move. My thumb is touching my, my opposite pinky, my, my, in this case, my left hand. I'm gonna drive up, I'm gonna brace my tummy, I'm gonna drive up into that hip extension, but I'm gonna stop when my hips get to wherever my hips get to. For some people with tight hip flexors, that might be a position that looks like this, right? If we have really good hip, hip extension, that might be a little bit farther, but I don't want to lose any of that core, um, that core positioning, okay? So, really easy, quick tip. One hand in the chest, other hand starts the pinky. I touch my thumb where I'm at. I hold that position throughout the entire bridge. Guys, questions and comments on that, please post it below. Otherwise, we're here each and every day, optimizing function to optimize performance.